The city of Lethbridge has been dealing with an issue of many tent encampments popping up near some downtown facilities. The city currently does not have long-term housing solutions for the most vulnerable. In a special feature, BCN's Angela Stewart spoke to some of the homeless who say they want to see city officials step up and offer more help and support. Here, we're not doing so well. Just the sweater on his back and a few belongings to call his own. Lethbridge resident John frequents this tent encampment often just outside of the soup kitchen. So we lost our place and, uh, and we're here now. John, along with his girlfriend, have been homeless for the last year after coming from a state of always having a home to maintain and living by their means. Uh, we collected the CRA, CRA and uh, we uh, lost our paychecks. The couple has been sleeping in the nearby shelter, also known as Alpha House. I get two mats, my girlfriend gets three mats, and uh, we're just... Uh, struggling to get by. John and his girlfriend are not alone. Many others see themselves living this reality. I had a fiance at the time and I lost my fiance and at the same time we fell into drugs. Chad, who comes from the blood reserve, says he fell into a deep depression after losing his mother, battling with addiction and eventually losing his son. Chad packed his bags and came out to Lethbridge, where he's been for the last six months. Actually, six months ago on December 28th, I went to detox for three months and I went to treatment for another two months. I was in the transitional living for another month. So six months altogether, I was sober. Coming out of a divorce, Thomas has been homeless for the last six years. I was married for uh, 22 and a half years and there wasn't really any place for a man to go but come to the city and live in the street. A recent report from Stats Canada shows more than 235,000 Canadians may experience homelessness in any given year, and about 25 to 35,000 may experience homelessness on any given night. These are all real people too. We're all real people. I find all the best people I've ever met are right here. With no place to go, Thomas and Chad say sleeping in a tent is the best option for them right now. I'll go into a tent till a cop shows up and then the cop in the city get together and they confiscate everything. Everybody here, the cops have to come and tear down everybody's stuff. I mean, this is literally all they got up for our homes. The issue is the more we take their belongings away, the more they have to seek other belongings. You need shelter. Many tents can be seen at this encampment. And Bill Ginther with the soup kitchen says on a number of occasions, the homeless have had their stuff taken away. One of the things that we're doing is that we, we, we swoop in, we clean everything up, we take all their belongings and then we that they're back in a few days. This is now creating an issue for both the soup kitchen and Alpha House. But ultimately, the size, uh, you know, the number of encampments that we're seeing outside the shelter, that's posing a, a safety risk and that's why we're concerned. It has worsened uh, over the course of the last uh, year or so, partially because the city made a decision to upgrade Galt Gardens where people stayed. You know, and that wasn't an ideal situation, but neither is this. Many say a transitional housing option would be one step in the right direction of getting on a better path. Situation now is trying to get out of here again. It's really hard. I would like to, to actually help with the transitional, like the, the housing. I don't know how much funding, but there has to be transparency too as well with the funding. But the evidence is, is the case that the last two winters, we've been promised some form of transitional housing, any kind of housing. There's zero has happened. Lethbridge currently has no transitional housing option available. And for the facilities near the encampments, they say more needs to be done. It's a safety risk for the folks that are staying in those camps, right? Um, you know, they're not meant for permanent habitation, right? And we're seeing folks who, um, you know, are in the middle between a number of different camps and it's not safe for them to be staying in there. In a response to COVID-19, the province was funding a housing option for people through Alpha House. But that isn't the case anymore. And now the facility says they want to see something more permanent. We've, you know, we have heard from, you know, multiple stakeholders that, you know, there are funds or that the funds are coming or that, yeah, we, we do see that this is the solution. But ultimately what we need is, you know, 
things to be greenlit. These are citizens of our city. We may not like the idea, we may wish for something better, but we've got to do something. And right now, I have see, I've seen zero evidence of any activity to try to find housing. Ginther says a permanent housing solution is vital, especially during the winter months as the conditions can be unbearable for some. I see too many people with amputated fingers. It's really on those decision makers who choose not to do anything. We freeze. That's all there is to it, as you freeze. Ginther says he has brought his concerns to the city on a number of occasions. He says he feels the issue has been swept under the rug. And I'm saying, where should they be? And so it, this bothers me to the nth degree to see people having to live almost like animals. Our city should be ashamed of, of ourselves. So we as people with an education, people that have the means to make a difference, are not willing to do it. Let's face it, we need a spot, we need space for these homeless people to be, and we're going to try to do everything we can to, to help those most vulnerable in our community. So it's not a new issue uh, to Lethbridge. Uh, Lethbridge has uh, dealt with encampments and people facing homelessness, uh, just like every other uh, municipality uh, across the country. Mike Fox, Director of Community Services for the City of Lethbridge, says a majority of the issues in terms of finding appropriate housing falls on the province, but the city continues to work on finding solutions. Uh, I think there's two issues. There's uh, one with people facing homelessness and then there's the opiate crisis and I think there's uh, two distinctions there uh, that cause different issues and have different solutions and all are complex and uh, the city's role is really as a, a coordinator, convener, facilitator um, where a lot of the issues fall outside of the mandate of the city. The city continues to work with all our partners, the province, and uh, tries to come up with uh, different plans that uh, will make things better for the city and its residents and the people facing homelessness. Last fall, Premier Jason Kenney announced $21.5 million in funding to address homelessness in the province, $13 million going towards 14 expanded homeless shelters across Alberta. We continue to be a major funder of the broader system, including building um, permanent housing units. Uh, we recognize, but you know, these issues are complex because they are related often to addiction and mental health challenges, sometimes to social disorder and where law enforcement comes in. We need to put all of that together as we develop a more comprehensive strategy. As of right now, there is no timeline when a permanent housing option will be available for those who need it the most. It's how do we uh, have the right solution to help everybody out in, in these uh, uh, complex issues. As we move forward, if we can get all the stakeholders together that are doing things, there, there are many, and uh, when we release the list uh, out on what everybody's role is and what people can do uh, on this uh, issue, I, I believe uh, people will be shocked on, on the complexity and also on how many people are trying to do things for the residents. In the meantime, many who are struggling with homelessness in the community say they hope the city will act soon and provide the proper resources to help them get up on their feet once again. In my situation, yeah, like I, I need to be in a stable environment which people aren't right now and they, this is what it is. We could be an example to other cities by actually doing something, housing. Create housing, that's really all it takes. We need to restore and enhance the dignity of people. There's no dignity in living like this, none. For Bridge City News, I'm Angela Stewart.